Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at Touch ID on the iPhone SE. So open up your settings and we're going to swipe down until we see Touch ID and passcode. Go ahead and tap on there. And since I have a passcode and fingerprints already set up, I'm going to have to enter in my passcode or if I've chosen a password before I can enter into these settings. If this is your first time setting up, you will not see the screen. You'll see the one that we're going to go ahead and jump into. So now that I'm in this screen, I can actually add in fingerprints, choose what I want to use Touch ID for, and even turn off my passcode, change it, and then also some other settings to allow items on my lock screen, voice dialing, and even erasing data if I have failed passcode attempts. But we're just going to worry about our Touch ID and the passcode. Now, I have a six-digit passcode currently set up on this device, but you can also have an alphanumeric password which is typically more associated with your computers. So you might have a typical password that you use for your computer. You can also use that on your phone as well. But a six digit passcode is more of the general requirement for using Touch ID. And if I tap on change passcode, I'm gonna enter in my old one. I'll go ahead and do that and we're gonna to jump to the next screen. And now you can see I can enter in a new passcode. And even if I tap on passcode options, I have the options of doing a custom alphanumeric, a custom numeric code, or even a four digit. So I can go down back to the old four digit, the six digit is currently the default one, and if I do a custom numeric, I can enter as many digits as I want to. And notice it actually hides the actual number rows here in the uh, passcode. So that could be something useful as well. And if I choose to do an alphanumeric code, I'll actually be presented with an actual keyboard or I can enter in any sort of combination of letters, symbols, and numbers to do the passcode. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out a change in my passcode for now. So now I'm going to show you how to set up a fingerprint. You will need to have a passcode or password already set up in order to use Touch ID. That is a requirement in using this. So once you've set that up, you'll come down into here into fingerprints. Notice I already have two of them set up and I'm going to add in a fingerprint. I can have a total of five altogether. So tap add fingerprint, choose whatever finger you want, thumb, index, middle finger, ring finger, or even your pinky. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and choose which one suits you. I'm going to just place it on the touch ID sensor, which is my home button. And I'm going to scan it and I'm lifting up and kind of moving my thumb around ever so often as I'm lifting it up. So that way this Touch ID gets a full readout of my thumb. And if you don't do it, you're going to get this error letting you know, move your finger slightly between scans. So now that's done, adjust your grip and continue. What I typically like to do is hold my phone with one hand and then scan my thumb or fingerprint and then set my phone down on the table and scan it again. Those are the two general grips that I usually have on my phone when trying to unlock my phone but you can do it however you want to. I just prefer to hold one and then lay one on the table. It just helps me get a better reading on my thumb. We'll tap continue, and now I'm gonna scan in the rest of my thumbprint. So now that it's complete, we'll tap continue, and if I place my finger, my thumb, I just scanned in on the Touch ID sensor, you'll notice it shows up as finger three. So that way you can never come back in here and actually hold your finger down to make sure that you scan it in before you actually scan it again accidentally. So now with the fingerprint set up, I can choose to unlock my phone, use Apple Pay, and even make iTunes and App Store purchases. And there are even some third-party apps that you can download from the App Store that will take advantage of Touch ID as well that will allow you to unlock the app to get into it. Touch ID is a nice way to lock down your phone for maximum security. It's in conjunction with the passcode and your Touch ID, your thumbprints are only stored locally on the phone. They're never backed up with any of your iTunes backups or iCloud backups, so everything lives physically on the device. And if you ever shut your phone off and turn it back on, you have to enter in a passcode before you can use Apple ID. If you ever shut your phone off and turn it back on, you will have to enter in your passcode before using Touch ID. And if you go eight hours without using Touch ID, you will have to enter in your passcode to use Touch ID again. These are just some countermeasures and security features that Apple has put in with Touch ID, but you can come in here and change any of those options using it for iPhone Unlock, Apple Pay, iTunes and App Store, changing your passcode, and even adding and removing fingerprints. And so that is how you use Touch ID on the iPhone SE. And for more tips, be sure and subscribe to State of Tech 
and we'll see you in the next video.